Hi, welcome back to my channel. Well, today we'll be doing a wedding sandaling hybrid. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. On to the video. So today, yeah, as we started, I thought, well, what would be a good combination? And decided to do this. And I wanted to do a sandwing body, but that body just ended up being a little too chunky. So I had to modify it quite a bit to get the chunkiness down. The chunky. Because they, because leaf wings are itty bitty skinny wee little guys. And sand wings are them chunky boys. So, um, what I did is I, yeah, used a lot of sand wing parts elsewhere, like the dorsal fin and the barb on their tail. That I had a hard time connecting up though, so um, I had to change that quite a bit. But other than that, it was pretty much the leaf wing, except for the patterning. That I used quite a lot of sand wing. Yeah, patterning, aka I used their scales, and then I just did the um, kind of smaller scales of a um, leaf wing scattered about, you know. And um, when it and yeah, you'll see that I he yeah, always modify everything a bit. And you'll also see I forgot to modify the very front of the back spine to a sand wing. So I just kind of rolled with that because I realized that too late into the project to change it. So, uh, yeah. I think my favorite part was doing the wings. I think that was really fun. I really like the leaf wing pattern. It's almost a yeah, butterfly pattern, except it's not. So I know it's supposed to be a leaf pattern, but it looks a lot like a butterfly pattern to me. I had a real hard time with the um, lining up of the scales because they have two very different body types. So you'll see that it does get eh, quite weird. I had planned on doing the scales all the way, but as I was doing that, I realized it wasn't going to work. So, um, in the end, I did have to change it a lot for it to work. But, in the end, I do think it came out pretty good. So, um, yeah. And when I think of leaf wings, I think their skin would be pretty smooth. Like, it, they wouldn't have very many scales. Um, the best way I can describe it would be a, um, scaleless snake. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's self-explanatory. It's a snake with no scales. It's just skin. And sometimes they have a couple scales. I imagine that's what it would feel like, you know? Anyway, um, this is a hard part area too because I wasn't planning on doing the scales exactly in the same place. To, so I had to be quite modified. Once I finished that, it was a lot easier to put on all of the little scales because it was just random dots here and there wherever I felt like it little imperfections that's the same thing about well, drawing animals it's okay if they're imperfected because well that's the beauty of it and I tried to use a lot of yellows and pale greens and used only two lush greens that way it could look more sandwing like but, um, I don't know if that came across as well as I wanted it to. So, um, you guys let me know if it came out the way you think it should have. 
Now the back green I had to modify because the first time it looked icky. And then I came up with this green. And then the dark green I think worked really well for the wings. Because I feel like that's a signature color for our leaf wings. And um, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be posting again very soon. Bye!